the last prayer really can't tell you. Amen. Christians don't like prayer. Believers don't like prayer, but then we wonder why things is not working out according to God's plan and purpose. Amen. Because, because a lot of times we just don't like praying. But yet we want to we, we, we want to see the plan and purpose of God to manifest without praying. You want to win battle without praying. Hmm. You want to be victorious without praying. Amen. In fact, you know, I was I was listening to some teaching about prayer many years ago. And oh God. It, it's really good to really go back over what you hear and see if really is really right. Because some things that that they say really sound good. They really sound good. But when you go back, you know, it really it, it's not true because it's no truth to what they're saying. Amen. I, I hear one of one, one one great man of God that that uh that says that you know that prayer that and it's really I, I really have to really go in and get some scriptures because I say look here man most people have been deceived believing that that your prayer life or your prayer give God the legal rights to operate in this thing. And and it sounds really good because you say, well, God is spirit and I'm uh, and, and, and I'm flesh, so I got the legal rights to operate in the physical dimension because I'm uh, I, I have flesh and God is the spirit. But I find out that the earth is the Lord and the fullness of the all, Amen. and God was operating in this earth before any one of us was here. That's true. That's true. So God, do, the Creator, don't need no legal right nah. to operate in what He already created. Amen. That's and there are many scriptures that really back up that. Amen. God don't need no. God don't need permission. No. Nah. God don't need. This is what the Bible say. He reigns upon the just as well as the unjust, because he don't need permission to bless no one. He don't need a permission to bless no one. Neither to bring deliverance to no one. That's he just does it. This is why. This, that's this is why he's suffering. Yeah. He decided to do what is the best interest that's of the person. True. He's a sovereign God. Gotcha. Amen. So when we pray, we got to keep in mind that God is sovereign. Mm -hmm. God is sovereign. Amen? Amen. Even though you're standing on what he says, but then, make here, he of the last say. Amen. Hallelujah. He's sovereign. And even though he might not come through the way you you you, you desire him, but he, he is still come through. But then, it, is not, it might not be the way that you plan. Amen. Because you want God. God don't listen to you. That's true. We got to listen to Him. Amen. Amen. We can't control God. That's true. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's true. Amen. Our prayer don't move God. Amen. Amen. Your prayer don't move God. Your prayer don't move God. <laughs> Your prayer. My prayer don't move God. God already moved. Amen. He already moved. Everything that he did already did, he came, he did it, and then he said it's finished. Amen. Amen. So your prayer don't move God. Huh. What, what prayer does, prayer just develop that relationship with you. It strengthens you, not God. Prayer strengthens you. It don't strengthen God. God already strengthened. It strengthens you. Amen. By the more we pray, amen, it, it literally it bring, it give us strength through his word. It strengthens us. It get us closer to God. Amen. Because we have a relationship with Him. Now, spiritual warfare prayer. Amen. Spiritual warfare prayer. Now, it have to do with, 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 with warfare that are enemies that operate behind the scene. Enemies that operate behind the scene. Amen. Hallelujah. That makes your physical eyes can't see them. But they're there. Your physical eyes can't see them. But they're there. They're everywhere. I say they're everywhere. Amen. That's why, you know, it, 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 I laugh when some, you know, when I hear most people say, well, to live in America, you need extra grace. To live uh, anywhere, you need extra grace. Amen. That's true. Not just America, because the demon that was in America is everywhere else. Demon is everywhere. They're everywhere. Amen. They're everywhere. Not just only, just not, not just only in America. 
You know, that's what they told me. You know, I see you in America, boy, you, 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 you don't need an extra grace. What about you? Hey, man. You don't need an extra grace yourself? Because every year it's getting worse. Because Satan knows that his time is getting there. It's coming here. And so we have seen, we have seen uh, 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 demonic operation in every country. Because demon is in, in every country. It's not just in America. Now, the first, the first, the first walk, the first walk of prayer that, that we must, we must learn to pray. Amen. It will be coming from 2 Corinthians 10. Voice. Let's start from verse, verse 3 to 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. Amen. This, 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 uh, this is the first walk of prayer that, that, that we must, we as Christians must pray. Must learn to pray. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You have it. Say amen. Brother Mark, you got it? Amen. Go ahead and read. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse, verse, verse 4, verse 3 to 5. Go ahead. Uh-huh. 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 My God. So, so now, what, 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 that, what, what Paul is going to be saying to us? What Paul is telling us tonight? Amen? Now, let me show you what, let me show you what, 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 Paul, is letting, what Paul is telling us tonight. Paul is saying literally, amen? Paul said, but though we walk in the flesh, though we walk in the flesh, so what he means by walk in the flesh, he means that everywhere you go, you carry your flesh, you carry your body. So you walk in the flesh. For me to go right here, I take me the flesh, right? He said, though we walk in the flesh, but, amen, but we don't walk, we don't walk after the flesh. We don't walk after the, the flesh. Amen? Then he says, the way for, for the weapons, you hear that? Somebody said weapons. Weapons. So you don't get, you know, you, when, when weapon is mentioned in the Bible, that means that you're in a fight. You, you, don't, you don't need weapon if there's no enemy. He said, for the weapons of our now you're dealing with warfare. So that means now you're in a war. Huh? You are in a war. You are in a war. You are in the war. You are in the war. He said the weapons are warfare, not carnal. It's not fleshy. It's not flesh. Amen? Amen? But it's mighty through God to the pulling down. Now, oh God. Now, just underline the word stronghold. You know the Bible didn't say a weak hold. Now you find out what is a stronghold now. Let me tell you what is what, what, what a stronghold now. What, what is a stronghold? Amen. You know, let's write this down. A stronghold is negative thought pattern that has been passed down from one generation to another generation. A stronghold is negative thought patterns that have been passed down from one generation to another generation. Now who, who's responsible? Who works behind these strongholds? Demons. The enemy. The enemy enforce. He what? He enforced these strongholds. A stronghold is a what? Negative thought pattern that comes down from one generation to another generation. So now we are dealing with stronghold. We are not a weak old. The back the, Paul said, now this is where Paul is revealing this by Paul is, is, is literally writing this by revelation. This was literally revelation that Paul received from the Holy Ghost. That Paul is telling the church in Corinthians that the weapons of our warfare are not called up in mighty to God to the pulling down of stronghold. So where stronghold abide, you're pulling it down. So we address it. Stronghold targets the mind. Stronghold targets the mind. You, you, that, that's where it, it, it lives in the mind. It restricts you. These are holes. These are negative way of thinking. Negative way of thinking. Negative way of thinking. Amen. Because it knows that. Amen. The enemy knows that. The only access that the enemy can get to you is the access to your soul. If you can gain the access to your soul, which is your mind, will, and emotion. If you can get, if you can get access to your soul, then he got you. 
So now this stronghold that passed down from grandmama, great grandmama, this stronghold passed down to you. Now, things about when a stronghold passed down.